new choppers to kindly avoid the frozen food aisle for the moment due to a minor technicality. <laughs> and guess who's gonna get to clean that up? Yours truly.
to get to me. Whoa. Wow. 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 Wow
Special offer today, for every fruit juice to get a singing card. <laughs> That's right, every single fruit juice. <laughs> <laughs> you take it, whatever. <laughs> Hey, girls. Calls, I, I run, I dive, I... I'm just 
just doing my job. job. Uh, Capitaine, I think someone is signaling us. What? In Morse code? What are they saying? Oh, I'd rather not translate it. Pourquoi? They are saying things about your mama. Ma mère? Ma, ma mother? You say something about my mother? Yes, and about your father, and your grandmother, and the father of your grandmother, and the cousin of your tailor. My tailor! Oh. Saving people is serious. We're not here to have fun. So you're the klepto who steals honest swimmers' underwear, huh? <laughs> what the... Yo, dude, you messed up my do! You have something to say about my mother? But I was just doing my job. It, it was them. Oh, you poor baby. Touches my hair, I can't control myself. <laughs> what now? Ooh, la la. Capitan, I don't think you want to know. Oh man, the power's down. 
<sighs> oh, the electro generator looks dead. Dead? Are you kidding me? But hey, I'll just cobble something else together. <laughs> it's not a problem. Cobble something else? Ta-da! Take a look at this sweet little baby. All we gotta do is make this wheel turn, and we can generate electricity! See? Easy peasy! <laughs> uh, right, and what? You're gonna run inside it? Who, me? No, but they will. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. John, I'm impressed. Your invention actually worked for, uh, 12 seconds. Yeah, it's nothing. It's just a little problem with motivation. Can you believe it, Gina? We're producing electricity with rapid power. It's a revolutionary idea. <laughs> well, it sort of works, at least for now. But I'm still freezing. Can't wait for those heating units. I've invented the energy of tomorrow. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> Bad timing, Yuri. Don't worry, boss. Here I come!
Breaking news. Recent satellite images show that polar ice has been vanishing at a record-breaking speed during the last few hours. This unexplained phenomenon has provoked a global alert. To solve the problem, a team of weather experts has been sent out to the ice floe. Weather experts? Us? That's a good one. <laughs> Shut up, John. The planet is in danger. We are all in danger. The world is counting on you. Ladies and gentlemen, the president is live with us from his plane. Mr. President, polar ice seems to be melting. What actions do you plan to take in the face of this crisis? Um, the answer is simple. We need to reduce heat by reducing pollution. I'm passing a law prohibiting the use of all motor vehicles. Uh -huh. Automobiles, boats, planes, and other aircraft are now grounded until further notice. Well, except mine, of course. <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm sure it's them. They're warming up the planet! The use of all motor vehicles is prohibited? But, but how am I gonna get to work in the morning? Well, you could ride your bike. These small sacrifices will reduce pollution until our experts have found a solution to this problem. It doesn't make any sense. These ice samples are perfectly normal. Nothing wrong with the data, boss. It's weird. The news is bad. Really bad. Despite the ban on the use of all motor vehicles, the melting of the polar ice does not appear to be slowing down. Our best weather experts are working non-stop, day and night, but have yet to find an explanation. Oh, uh, yeah, I agree. And worst of all, I've got cramps in my legs from pedaling that darn bicycle. All right, let's get back to it. Just happened. Uh, well, I guess for once we should just let them get on with it. It's uh, difficult to believe, but it seems that the rabbits have solved the polar ice problem. They're bringing us more ice. Look! The news has already gone worldwide. The rabbits are helping humanity. Mr. President, sir, do you have a comment? My fellow world citizens, it's with a joyful heart that I hereby declare the state of emergency is over. Yay! Put away your bicycles, yeah! you can all go back to driving everywhere and avoiding exercise of any kind. Battle to the man! Oh, well, I'm gonna miss popping those wheelies on my board. And I would like to make a more personal statement. We were wrong about the rabbits. Though they may seem to be stupid, um, cute, they are in fact heroes. What? And today, I'd like to ask the people of the world to treat them with the honor and respect they truly deserve, and to take an example from their courageous behavior. What? But, but, but this can't be happening! It's a nightmare! Somebody please make it stop! To be continued. Previously on Rabbids Invasion. 
Recent satellite images show that polar ice has been vanishing at a record-breaking speed during the last few hours. I'm sure it's them. They're warming up the planet! <laughs> it seems that the rabbits have solved the polar ice problem. Look! I'd like to ask you, the people of the world, to treat them with the honor and respect they truly deserve. What? No, oh, I can't believe it. This is a catastrophe. They're pretending to be heroes and everybody's falling for it. Dad, honey, did you see the president's announcement? It's amazing. Mom, don't listen to them. It's a trap. You must never, ever... Oh, look, there are two rabbits in front of the house. Let's invite them in for dinner. No, 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 Mom. Don't let them in. Come on in, you guys. I'm going to make you my specialty. Mm. Honey chicken. I'll come back to see you, Mom. I promise. <laughs> hey, are you out of your mind? Don't you know what they've done for the planet? You should be ashamed of yourself. But, but here, to thank you. Hey, you're right. You know, there's a lot of good stuff we can salvage from the trash. They're amazing, aren't they? <laughs> so me. Oh, no! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! So, so we, we have to run away! Everybody's... Hi, Zach. Look at them. Isn't the cutest thing ever? Wow. We have so much to learn from them. They said no. so on TV. No, Zoe, not you! No! Wow. <laughs> Oh, hey, I get it. You guys want to borrow my car. Sure thing. We owe you so much. This is insane. <laughs> Ooh, goodbye. <laughs> Am I the only one who... Ah! <laughs> you think I'm going to let you take over my planet? You have no idea who you're dealing with. <laughs> I'm sorry, I surrender. Please don't hurt me. Uh, uh, oh, I feel so good. If I remember correctly, their secret headquarters should be right. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> I was right. They never wanted to help us. They want to melt the ice. Uh, smile. Now I've got the proof to. Wah mm. uh, wah. Oh. Never take me alive. Never. Today, our special guest simply saved the planet. So tell us, how are you dealing with your brand new celebrity status? Mm -hmm. Stop! 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 These creatures are not what they pretend to be! Uh, excuse me, how did he get in here? They are melting the ice for their evil plans! And here is the proof! It, oh, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> 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 Oh! <laughs> 
No, seriously, can somebody please get this, this jerk one. off my set? This one. Oh, that's breakfast. Uh -huh. Hey! Give me that! Oh, come on. We're alive here, people. Hmm? Ladies and gentlemen, the president is with us live for a special announcement. Over to you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Dear fellow world citizens, I have an important statement to make. It is with a heavy heart that I inform you that I was mistaken. The rabbits are not heroes. I knew it! I tried to tell everybody. They want to destroy... They're not here to help us. They really don't care about the polar ice problem. <laughs> They're simply idiots. Deeply, deeply <laughs> stupid. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Baba? Get out of my house! I can't believe I let you use my bathtub. Baba? Oh, get out of here! No, no, no. They just pretend to be dumb. They're actually evil geniuses. Oh, finally. Thank you, Boris. Oh, you can take this one, too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, never mind. Nobody ever listens to me. Oh, my, 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 my. No, get up of me. No, 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 tickle. Stop it.
This time I got you.
Gina, I managed to isolate the cold virus and I'm cooking up a remedy for you. If you think I'm taking even one drop of that uh, potion... Uh, uh, no fussing. Just one mouthful of this and you'll be all better. Forget about it. I'm out of here. Go on, Gina. Trust me. Just this once. Oh, hey, how about this? I'll make one of the penguins drink my remedy first. Then you'll see there's nothing to worry about. Too hard on poor John. The penguin seems to have survived in any case. Hmm. Where, where'd my penguin go? Huh? Oh no, my medicine turns whoever drinks it into a rabbit! Uh, I've got to get to Gina before she drinks it, Gina! Didn't I? 